spring semester of sophomore year was such an eye-opening, self-evaluating semester. guys it is Ashley here welcome back to my channel once again if this is your very first time tuning in please do not forget to go down below hit that subscribe button and if you are coming back welcome so I'm here with another college video y'all love my college talks apparently I haven't done one in a minute now that the semester is over I'm done with finals I just want to catch you guys up on everything that's been going on from really the start of 2019 till now and then towards the end of this video i will also throw in tips for incoming college freshmen so stay tuned for that straight off the bat what they don't tell you about college guys is that it is a whole nother like ball game life in itself is hard but like being in school actually like living by your school whether you live on campus off campus aside from your family life friendships relationships your job college college is like a whole nother ball game in itself and it really takes a head-on person to really persevere and push through last semester which was fall semester of my sophomore year is when i moved off campus things got a little bit better but i was very um still in the motion of trying to figure out you know who i was and things like that spring semester of sophomore year was such an eye-opening self-evaluating semester like it, there's so many words that i can put into it but this semester specifically was just like mind-blowing it was it was hell it was heaven it was a roller coaster of ups and downs it was me crying one minute me rejoicing the next minute like it was just so much that happened in this one semester and i really want to share that with you guys because there's a lot of people that go through these motions throughout their college journey and like people don't really talk about it and some people feel as though they're alone in these cases but i just want to let you guys know that i have felt probably like of course i'm not done with my college journey yet but i felt so many emotions so far you know i am a fiend for transformation church here on youtube i believe his name is pastor todd or pastor tj um but i was watching one of his series and a word that he gave that really stuck with me um whenever words stick with me or whenever i hear certain quotes and things of that nature i tend to write them down in my notes um because they you know usually relate to the situations that i'm going through he said this one thing that really caught me and it said god isn't playing checkers he's playing chess and he's six steps ahead of you divinely orchestrating your life and that i had to pause because i usually watch it on my tv i had to pause my tv and i was like mm. we as humans our flesh we usually try to do everything on our own and especially going through college it's like we feel like we're here on our own we got to do it we got to get it by all means by ourselves and really god is the only one who knows your ins and your outs where you're going to be in the next couple of months who you're going to be talking to in the next week what connections you're going to be making things of that so he's like i'm not playing with you i'm playing chess and i'm divinely orchestrating every little thing that you're about to go through and that's something that i had to realize this semester is that whatever he was doing in that season of my life he wasn't doing it without me and it's so crazy because throughout the semester i would have multiple breakdowns i never showed it on you know social media i never let people know aside from like my family and my boyfriend that i was just really down now certain times because i felt like okay god you're doing all of this you're doing all of this in the atmosphere you're doing all of these things around my life but i feel like i'm not included i feel like i'm not reaping anything i feel like i'm not benefiting i'm literally here just down and out like i don't feel like I don't feel like anything good is happening for me. I feel like everything's just going wrong on this pathway right now. And I need you to like, let me know. I need you to talk to me. Like, I need you to let me know what's going on. Cause I feel very left out. I don't know if you guys know the song says, Lord, whatever you're doing in the season, please don't do it without me. And that has been my cry, like from January, from January to now. And I realized he was not doing anything without me i just had to take that first step forward and come with him with whatever he was trying to pull me through and push me through this is the first time in my life where i will say that i used these things that i once thought were attacks by the devil and i turned them into 
lessons learned lessons being taught to me by god if that makes sense in the past i used to think when bad things happened to me or things didn't go my way that it was always in relation to like evil bad connotation bad juju things like that but this semester is really the first time that i've been able to like grasp all of these mistakes and all of these you know emotions and feelings and turn them into these are obstacles created by god and he's helping me come over them you know january and february are really the two months and some months after that but really january and february is when i um lost friends i lost a lot this semester but friends that was the first thing that happened i don't necessarily have friends here at school back home is where i had like my best friends i lost them and it was it was pretty hard for me and it still is hard kind of talking about it because they were like my brother and sister, you know? Friends really did show their true colors and I was just like, wow, this is crazy. Like some, like people, like somebody that I actually considered not even a friend, but like a family member. Like the fact that you would do me how I would never do you in a million years, it, it just really boggled my mind. And I didn't really know how to process it at the time, but like I said, I just knew that this was the work of god and that he was doing this to teach me some kind of lesson as the months progressed i had to let go of those two friendships and i just realized like it was for the best um all right ash don't cry i go to this church here in Val Austin now the pastor like his his words are just so every sunday like i feel like the sermon is just always for me but basically he was saying one sunday god is positioning you to a place where other people can't go when those type of things never happen to you you don't, you don't really process them like you do when they start happening i'm like okay okay like okay this seems like it can kind of relate to what i'm going through and he was just like yeah when 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 god is trying to elevate you when he's trying to bring you up when he's trying to do things in your life and other people are weighing you down you have to cut you have to cut that rope like you have to let them go you have to drop them and it's not out of animosity it's not out of anger it's really just out of knowing who you are as a person and knowing who they are as a person and just knowing that the connection that you guys once had can't work anymore and when i heard that i was just like I said, come on, preach, preacher. It's correlating, it's correlating. That's the word that I've been looking for. And it sucks sometimes because you think that person is gonna be in your life forever and when they're not, it's just like, wow. But just hearing those words from, you know, man of God, it really helped. So come February, March, February is when I did my first pageant. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. If you don't, you should, but I uh, participated in my first pageant. It was for an organization called ASA, African Student Association. And I have grown to love that organization. I'm actually on the e-board for this upcoming semester so i'm super super excited about that but it was my first pageant and i placed first place i won crown sash everything like it was such an amazing experience then also march march 23rd was when i turned 20. me transitioning from a teenager to now a young adult that was just a lot like that was a lot also being in other orgs the dance team here and the the modeling troupe here as well so me doing other orgs as well as you know transitioning into this young adult and then doing this pageant it was it was a lot i had to call my mom and i literally broke down on the phone like i was like mom this is all just getting to me this is so much i feel like i'm trying to go 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 and do everything the right way but it just feels like like it's just crashing down it's crashing down it's crashing down you know when you just go for such a long period of time and like you're doing so well and like yo i can't do this anymore like this is just too much being strong for this long is honestly like it's sickening sometimes she really talked to me she helped me and i felt a lot better because her and my dad were coming up the very next day of course for my pageant so i just knew like the pain wouldn't last forever sometimes you guys really just need those people in your corner to help you a lesson that i learned between february and march is that i have to start doing things for me i used to stretch myself so thin like so thin for people for people for organizations for friends like i used to stretch myself so thin i wanted to accompany everybody and everything and be in multiple different places at the same time after i turned 20 after i came back from my birthday trip so this is now transitioning into you know april this is when i had to realize like i'm about to start doing things for me i can't keep 
crying over things like this when I have school to worry about. I have my GPA, my grades to worry about. So the decision that I had to make was drawing myself back from things that were holding me back. Wow, thank you God for that. So basically, I'm not going to be dancing this upcoming semester. And I also left the um, modeling troupe back in like February, like February, March, I want to say. But I knew that it was for the best. You know, the organizations, they're not going anywhere. They're forever going to be here. Just me being happy again. That was like the most important thing. Um, college can really take a lot from you, but it should never steal your joy. Nothing in this life should ever steal your joy. And you know, the way your attitude is towards, towards your circumstances really does have a big effect on um, you and just how you go throughout everyday life. So that's one thing I also had to work on was just changing my attitude towards certain things, but also being, being selfish in a good way. For myself the last lesson was accepting what my passion was and discarding what wasn't it's so funny and this is why I say you know keep those good people in your corner because you know when you're trying to like when you're trying to figure yourself out you also need like other opinions from headstrong people and people that know you you know that can give you their insight as well without being like biased and things like that yeah I could talk to my parents on the phone it would help me tremendously but having my boyfriend here really helps a lot as well so literally I would call him I would text him and I'd be like babe can you come over because I'm going through this self-evaluation thing again and I really need your advice like I really need to talk to you about this and he would always be there knocking at my door whenever I need him and it really, really helps. As you guys know, when I first started out on YouTube, I did makeup. That was the main thing. Hair has always been an interest, but makeup was like, oh, I'm like itching my face. But hair has always been like an interest to me, but makeup was always, you know, my go-to. I ran a makeup business and my hashtag was Beat by Ash um, up until... When did I stop doing makeup? Maybe like a month now I stopped doing makeup. I'm so happy. Like, y'all don't understand. It wasn't... It wasn't a struggle continuing makeup even when I, you know, realized that it was my passion, but it was just, I don't know how to describe it, but I'm just so glad that I stopped. I started doing wigs last semester around like October, I think. I want to say my first two wigs were made in October. My first two wigs were made for other people, for clients in October. And I started at like $30, it was like $30 or $35. Um, I didn't want to charge much because for one, people in Valdosta are so cheap, y'all. If you guys have a business and decide to come here to school in Valdosta, just realize that people are so cheap and they either want things done for free or for the low, 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 low. And I just grew from there and now I can say like my work has grown so tremendously, not being cocky, but hey, you gotta sometimes you know in between me doing hair i was still like okay so i'm a i'm a makeup artist and a hairstylist like what's i mean not saying that that's a bad thing because some girls do both and i applaud them like that's amazing but for me i like to really you know give my full-on attention and pour my heart out to something that i really like desire doing with makeup like i barely i barely even wear makeup anymore i'm really fresh faced most of the time because my face is just it's under reconstruction right now it's breaking out so i also never used to practice like looks on myself to use on my clients and i feel like that's the main thing like if you're not practicing on yourself if you're not studying watching videos um going on instagram i love going on instagram and bookmarking you know different things to practice or to try or to look back and reference to but i wasn't doing that with makeup anymore i was i was not even buying new products for my kid that's how i knew like this is not it anymore i'm just really grateful that hair is like the main thing for me right now um, and i've grew i've grown so much with that and you know my boyfriend he really did help me like narrow down on like the pros and the cons for each one it helps it helps a lot Whew this semester was a semester okay i'm just grateful i'm grateful that it happened i'm grateful that i made it through i'm grateful that i finished the semester with good grades again a's and b's um i'm just glad that god still has me that's the most important thing like i'm just glad that i never threw in the towel and just said forget it i don't want to do this anymore i did lose passion i did i did lose a lot you know i lost a lot this semester and now that i can like finally say it and like admit to it like i'm just i'm 
it's a good feeling it's a really really good feeling some tips for my incoming college freshmen my babies all right number one stay true to who you are please do not let anybody sway you from left to right up and down that is one thing that i totally regret my freshman year acting out of character i say this all the time doing things that i had no business doing and it's true i'm just gonna admit it please just stay true to yourself. Don't let anybody take you out of your element. Another thing, your freshman year, please make these grades count, y'all. Because your new GPA starts from that point. It can either only go up or go down. So please make that freshman, freshman year GPA the best GPA balance balance is so important um writing things down really helped me i write things down everywhere on my sticky notes in my agenda and on my calendar that's in my room and in my phone like constant reminders having a balance time management is so important knowing when to go to bed knowing when to wake up sometimes you have to wake up early enough to get done what you need to get done you know what i'm saying like study studying for a test um eating breakfast on time so you can go to the library right after and study or or, you know getting up early for a study session things like that I've had to do all of that if you decide to get into organizations and things like that just still balance and just know what's enough for you just for you ask questions ask questions but be vigilant I feel like that's the most important thing ask questions be vigilant and be safe um this is a small town I don't if you guys aren't coming to Barasa please still take these these same tips and this advice closed mouths do not get fed so if you have to ask questions please ask that is how you grow in every aspect be vigilant know who's your friend who's not just be safe you guys if you're walking somewhere walk with a group of friends you know the common things that your parents tell you things like that but thank y'all so much for watching i love y'all so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys